it's rainy vlog time. Yeah, um, this vlog is a bit of a failure because of the weather. Rain kind of ruined my plans. Uh, I had visited the city center of Arnhem and I did some shopping there. But I thought, hey, I'm in the area of the Dalen Air Force Base. And I know that in World War II that used to be Vliegerhorsdelen. So I thought, hey, let's see if there are some bunkers there. And I had done some planning uh, beforehand. Um, to see what I could find there and it just kind of sparked my interest so I thought well let's go visit that uh, I knew that the weather could be a bit unstable but I had kind of expected it to become a lot worse much later in the day uh, but when I was there it was around um, uh, 1400 hours or thereabouts maybe yeah, somewhere between uh, 1300 and 1400 hours and uh, I had expected that uh, um, bad weather wouldn't start until like 1500 hours. So I thought, oh, this may be possible, let's do it. But no, rain started to get bad pretty quickly. And um, when I was walking there, well, it just, the air s kind of started to get gray and very cloudy. And I thought, well, maybe I can do it. But um, yeah, when I got back in my car, it really started raining. And when I drove home, it got really worse. Uh, the, the rain got very intense. So I will have to revisit this place uh, some other time in the future when the weather is hopefully better. But let's take a look at what uh, I was kind of searching for and what I kind of expected to find there. So let's uh, take a look at Street View. So this is the Schaarsbergen area and this here is uh, uh, the Dalen Air Force Base and it, um, in World War II it used to be called Vliegerhorst Dalen and here is Veteranen Landgoed Vrijland, a place that I have visited in 2017, may have been 2018. Uh, I've been there, there are some interesting things there. But um, yeah, here's the city of Arnhem. And uh, in this area here is something interesting. Please take note of this and also take note of this. Uh, this road here is called the Rollbaan. And it kind of refers to uh, what this is. It's some sort of airstrip. And in World War II, the uh, airbase used to be a lot bigger. So it also included these things over here that are now publicly accessible. And um, the publicly accessible part is called Camper Heide. So you've got this like little car park over here. With this field where you can sit and well, where I decided to have my lunch. Uh, I actually ate my uh, lunch first and then I wanted to go to do a bit of walking. So I kind of investigated this a little bit and started walking somewhere in this direction. And already got clouded. But when I was kind of at the end of this road, it, I thought no, I maybe better go back to the car because of the rain. So yeah, it kind of failed, but I really had wanted to see this here. And this is supposedly some sort of hangar that is disguised as a farm building. And it looks like this, at least well, from what I could gather, I was expected to find this there if I had managed to get that far and um, if the weather had cooperated. But in the area there are also other things like this really huge bunker. Um, which is supposedly located about here. But this thing you cannot really access to because this is the premises of the um, National Park Hoge Veluwe, which means you have to pay an entrance fee, which costs like 11 euros. Uh, and still, I don't know if you can actually access this bunker or not. Uh, I have been to the Hoge Veluwe many years ago because it's like this entire area and it's absolutely huge and there's also the Kulle Muller Museum uh, which is there. Uh, I've been to that twice. This is a really big area and uh, well, Otterlo is one of the entrances and then um, Schaarsbergen is the other entrance. Um, so yeah, that's pretty big. But yeah, this bit you can just access um, well because it's uh, part of the uh, community. Um, in fact, you can also park supposedly here and have a look at this. You can just well access this uh, bit. 
So yeah, sadly the weather did not cooperate, um, so I recorded just a little bit of footage with me walking to the place, um, hoping that it would stay dry, but um, yeah, the weather got really bad quickly and when I drove home uh, it was very hard to see other vehicles, that's how intense the rain uh, was. Right, here we are at the Camper Heide in Schaarsbergen near Arnhem, and um, yeah, this place is kind of interesting because here's a car park with this empty spot and this road here used to be like uh, something for uh, aircraft so supposedly this is part of an old military air force base and um, yeah we are also very close to National Park de Hoge Veluwe which is about well in that direction and um, it's Vliegveld Delen so maybe we can find things here um, yeah, I just kind of looked on a map where this is. You see there's already some sort of narrow pathway here. I don't know where this leads, but what I've seen on Google Maps, there's supposed to be some kind of uh, old, well, farm thing that is kind of disguised supposedly some sort of bunker disguised as a farmhouse. I don't know if we can find it. We may actually have to walk around from a different direction. Yeah, I don't think this will lead us there. Let's see, where does this go? Oh, now we actually reach well, behind the other part of the car park, oh, there is some high grass, which we will have to mind. And there is a pile of sand. So, I think we're headed in the wrong direction, but supposedly it is somewhere behind there. So, I think we have to just walk a different way. I don't think you can get through here actually. No, that doesn't look like a path to me. Let's see. No, that's not really a path. So we have to follow this. We have to get back to the car and then take the actual road to get there if it's not too much walking. But yeah, there's supposed to be like a road behind those bushes. No, you can't go through there. It's very dense. No, this is not a path. It's too dense. So here is a place where you can kind of rest. There's a, uh, a bench. I just ate my uh, sandwich there. As you can see, it's kind of old, not in a very good state, but I just sat there and ate my sandwich. There's another bench. There's my car. So let's see where this path will lead us. Yeah, this is all asphalt. So this street or road is called Rollbahn, which uh, kind of refers to a, well, a uh, airport. It's highly likely that the Germans used this as a uh, sort of runway for their planes, just to kind of park them. Just like the uh, Twente Air Force Base, they had a lot of things kind of uh, where they could hide planes in the bushes. And this looks kind of similar to that. 
Well, the weather is not great today. Um, well, I'm hoping it stays dry. I've checked it should remain dry until around 3 o'clock, but I think it's already starting to get a little bit rainy. Yeah, just I feel a few tiny drops. So I'd say we go in there. And here's a sign. You cannot enter that with your car. And it's called Camper Heide. So you can walk about here. And you can uh, well walk your dog and do a bit of cycling. But you cannot enter this road with a vehicle. At least not with a car. So yeah, I'm feeling a few tiny drops of water. I'm hoping it's going to stay that way. Um, I've checked. It shouldn't be until like the end of the afternoon that it really starts pouring down. But I'm starting to doubt that a little bit. Luckily I have a coat with me. I'll just see how far we can get. I've already been to the uh, city center of Arnhem. I've uh, visited uh, Radio Piet to get some more cassette tapes. And I've also uh, went to a record shop where I found uh, an album of, uh, of Joy Division. Oh, it does start, yeah, it is going to rain. I think I have to put on my jacket. So let's see what's at the end of that road. And then we go perhaps back to the car. Bummer, the weather in the Netherlands is always bad. It's always so unpredictable. Yeah, this does not look great. Let's see. There's a farmhouse and here's a path. Oh yeah, it does look like this path goes to that thing, but it's raining and I don't know how long it will stay this way, so I'll go back to the car. Well, I guess we have to visit this some other time then, because this weather I do not like. Or maybe I should wait in the car until it improves. Yeah, I think I'm going to call it quits. It doesn't look like that the rain is getting any better. Well, I'm going home. Um, yeah, this was a bit of a disappointing video, I think. Because uh, I had hoped that it uh, would stay at least good until 3 o'clock, but I just checked Buyerada. And yeah, it's only getting worse. So I have to visit this another time. So yeah, that's a bit of a bummer, but at least I had some nice uh, shopping in uh, Arnhem. I uh, bought some things. Like um, some uh, music records and some cassette tapes and such. But yeah, uh, despite a kind of uh, <laughs> failed vlog attempt, I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Bye bye.